Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to my Reassembly series, episode 16. So, I put it out to uh, you guys to answer a question for me, and that was, why wasn't the stations taking my resources? And you guys, uh, many of you guys responded with the answer, and uh, thank you very, very, very much. I really appreciate it. So, apparently, the stations will not take resources from a ship that already has a factory on it did not know that so and many of you guys responded to that question so thank you very much to all of you in the community on the channel that responded to the question thank you i really appreciate it because now i mean that's been a problem since the beginning of this series i mean we didn't know how to do it now we know how to do it which is great and as you can see uh if you look at our social credits i've done a little bit of work today all i've done is collect points I haven't done well. Oh no, that's that's not true. I did make a couple little modifications to the pill bug. First off, I removed the large thruster. The large thruster was doing us no favors. Besides that, when I was building ships from the factory, I guess that doesn't need to be there. When I was building, sh actually, that can go back there. Never mind. Um, when I was building ships from the from this particular factory, they were getting stuck in between the large thruster, which was sitting here like this. So everything was getting stuck on the in-between, and uh, then I'd have to build myself as a smaller ship and stuff. It, it was messy, anyway. So uh, I instead, so apparently one large thruster is the equivalent to five of these thrusters, the second largest thruster, the mega size. So, right, increase mobile, mega size. So these are the mega size, and this is the asteroid relocation size. <laughs> Uh, not only is this ugly, it's really kind of inefficient, and I don't like the way it, it sits on a ship. I guess you could do something like that, too. That's really fancy. Um, anyway, so I did change that engine, as well as I added a few more containers just kind of randomly on the ship, as well as a, a few other tiny little thrusters on the ship. Um, the reason being is pretty soon, and this episode I think is kind of the plan, we are going to retire this as our mothership. What does that mean? Well, um, it doesn't mean that we're getting rid of the ship. The ship is still going to be part of the fleet. We're going to be building them. They're going to be our basic, over, like our, 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 it's going to be kind of the, uh, I guess you could say they're kind of the queen ships, right? So they will still have the factory on them. Um, but we are going to be moving to more of a battleship style, which is going to be using more of the heavy blocks. And we're going to have a lot more hit points, and we're going to be using some bigger weapons, and this ship will continue to be a sort of a a main destroyer class within, within our fleet. It's excellent for taking out medium, small, medium, and even some large ships. I've had some huge successes with it, and it looks really cool, and I'm ready now to start flying something a little bit heavier, well, a lot heavier, with some bigger guns. So, without further ado... I just want to be sure that we're in a relatively safe spot, but uh, we are going to do some upgrading. We're first off, we are unlocking the big badass plasma cannon. This sucker, I'm sorry. Oh, pallet full. Okay, so uh, let's replace. I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll replace the auto cannons because those don't matter anymore. Uh, actually, we're going to put that there. We're going to put. Uh, uh, we'll put the. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of that for now. Remove that for now. We're going to put the plasma projector there. Okay, so we have... We now have the largest... As far as I'm concerned, this is the most effective weapon in the game. I know I haven't played with it in this series, but we're about to. And you're going to love it. It's fantastic. Okay, so the plasma cannon, It's it doesn't quite do... So it does uh, damage 270 per round. Whereas the antimatter does almost double that. But this fires uh, rate 4 rounds per second. And this rate 0.5 rounds per second so this fires like eight times faster than the antimatter cannon and it's turreted like it's incredible so this this is in my opinion the best damage per second weapon in the game the problem with it is it uses an enormous amount of power and uh, 60 energy per shot and on top of that it's huge so let's go to the I've, whoops, wrong one. We're, I'm just to show you, uh, relative to our ship, like that. That's huge. Like it's as big as a factory, or as big as a large container. So, okay. So that's the first piece. Uh, let's just check to see if there's anything else we're gonna be unlocking right away. I don't 
think so we could well we'll unlock the mortar we'll see what that's like so we know we're going to be using plasmas plasmas are probably going to be the mainstay of my next big ship i don't think oh drones plasmas and drones are going to be the the two big things so we got without further ado we are going to get on this build uh but before we do that let's make sure that there is a copy of the pill bug i'm pretty sure there is I, I was launching some defenders earlier, just sort of securing areas. Uh, let's. Uh, so I have a pill bug that does not have a factory on it, so we'll be using that as well. Uh, of course, if if you want to sell resources, you switch to something that doesn't have a factory, and then you know, etc. Uh, of course, the the old engines on there, whatever, it doesn't matter. And uh, okay, so we are going to. I guess we'll just do this. We'll put the pill bug down here, and we're going to start building. Okay, I'm going to fast forward it for you guys because this could take a while. Okay, so we've got a ways to go, but before we do anything else, I've got to increase the amount that we can carry. Holy crap! <laughs> we can carry 6,338 points now. <gasps> okay, and that's that's as big as we can go. Okay, um, let's, let's put together what we've got here. Now, of course, we're going to need way more engines and actually now that i know that we could actually have that many points on our ship we may have, we may actually make this thing even bigger um and uh, of course i haven't added any of the flair that i want to add to it you know to make it kind of look a little bit more bug like too as well but uh so far i'm liking it it also you know what it builds faster than the other ship just because the design okay so and actually, it could use a lot more firepower. Uh, oh, and drones or something? Like, I don't know. Let's let's just see how it flies. I'm turning. Turning is as I suspected it would be, which is very, very poor. Right. So, let's go back in here. Okay, let's try that. All right. Oh, bad guy. <laughs> oh, I guess we can. Uh, <laughs> we could use the plasmas. So the plasmas don't have the range as the rails do, but like I said, they do so much damage. Uh, and we don't have a lot of them on here, actually, considering how many points we have that we can use. Actually, we have uh, very minimal. I was just testing the engines to see how that would work uh we may eventually want to add more shields too but just uh you know just to give you an idea this is how quickly this thing can just chew apart this asteroid filled with space plants <laughs> okay so yeah i got way too excited there again but that's okay. I really like this. Oh, this is cool. And actually, it's uh, it's moving very well. But we, we, we went a little overboard on, on engines. And I don't feel bad about that. We might want some more forward thrusting engines. And of course, we need to add some more flair too as well. So let's do that. <laughs> yes, I know, it's totally unnecessary. The legs are totally unnecessary. But, well, you know, maybe they are necessary. You know, I, I just... First off, they're going to add a lot of lateral armor, which is 
really, really nice. And besides that, look at that. It fits. It fits. Another thing we're going to be doing is we're going to change our control setup. So now to move, uh, I use the WASD key to rotate and move forward. And the cursor key no longer controls my direction. Uh, or sorry, not the cursor key. The, the mouse no longer controls my direction. It controls the direction of the turrets. So now I can be facing a completely different direction while continuing to fire like so. Isn't that cool, eh? So I don't know whether or not to do drones. I think we'll do drones, but I we I'm you know the plasmas, although they do incredible damage. Look at that. Like I can just chew apart anything now with the plasmas. I am concerned that we don't have anything super long range, but I don't think we're gonna need it. I, I think I think it's it's gonna be pretty darn good <laughs> like this. Um, I actually turns pretty good. I have to get used to the control setup, so I apologize me ramming into everything. Although that is there's nothing new there because that's what I do. I ram into things. All right, so let's let's go give her let's go take her for a spin. Oh, wow, one more thing. Let's let's finish off our drones. All right, boys and girls, <laughs> there it is. It's magnificent. It's absolutely gorgeous. We've used almost all of our points. Um, you'll notice that I added thrusters on the inside near where the core is. Oh, so just a couple things to point out. So the core is behind within at least three sections of heavy blocks in any direction except for diagonal. Diagonal, it's got some other obstructions too as well, so hopefully that will help. In longevity, it's good. there's a lot of armor to go through to get to the core. Um, it, the core is in a, you know, in a suspect place. I mean, it's in the, in the center of a ship. If I was playing against another player and another player was trying to find my core, He'd figure it out pretty quick. He or she would figure it out pretty quick. If I was if I was really trying to be sneaky, I would put it, you know, maybe somewhere else in here that was a little bit uh, sneakier so that somebody wouldn't be able to find it. But since I'm just playing against computer-controlled opponents, it won't really matter. There's just a heck of a lot of armor to go through. You'll also notice that we placed thrusters on the inside. So as this thing builds from scratch, it's going to start at the center and build out, and we should be able to maneuver almost immediately. So we won't have to wait for all of these other thrusters to be built before we can actually start to escape or, you know, it just, it will add to our longevity. So the, we've added flak cannons all the way through. The flak cannons are really, really good at taking down small enemy ships. I should add more defense cannons and we will as time goes on. They're, they're pretty cheap. I'm not going to worry about any more right, right this second. I've only added two. Lots of flak cannons though. And, uh, of course... All the doom mites. Look at them all. So there are lots of insects in nature where the babies and, and actually sea creatures, where the babies actually live on the legs until they're a certain age and then they detach and then they go off on their own. So that was kind of the feeling there um, in, in, in honor of the insectoid race. And of course, he's got the big mandibles. He's got lots of plasma guns. The sucker's going to do lots of damage. He is going to be tough to maneuver, and he's going to require a wide berth. So you know, wherever we go, we've <laughs> it's it's going to be it's going to be a, we're always going to be running into stuff. Um, but the on the bright side, we may eventually add some shields to the side. I don't know if we'll do that or not. I mean, the legs are going to go down really quick, but does it really matter? You know what I mean? Like if the legs get damaged or knocked off, it doesn't really affect our combat effectiveness. At least our immediate combat effe combat effectiveness, we will still be able to fire, uh, you know, 80% of our primary weapons, which is our plasma guns. Yes, we may lose some drones, but I, I this ship is 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 a short range, heavy hitting vessel. So the name, of course, as some of you already know, is. The, hmm, it is supposed to be the Scarab. I really like that name. Um, however, uh, let's call it the, <laughs> it's kind of cheap to do this, but the Mighty. 
scarab. <laughs> so scarabs are a beetle in nature, and they're pretty vicious little things, and they're meat eaters. And so this is this this is pretty good, and it looks good. It looks really really good. We are going to save that. <laughs> and there it is. Oh, and one more thing: where our bindings, all of our plasma guns. Cannons are going to be on our left mouse button. All of our drones are going to be on our right mouse button. Yes, we are taking control of our drones again. That's very, very important. Point defense is point defense. We're not going to worry about uh, assigning anything else. I think, uh, yeah. Yeah, that should be good. So, yeah. Away we go. Wow, look at it. It's awesome. And drones. Look at the drones. Like... I don't know if we're gonna have enough power. Oh yeah, well, see, look at look at how much power we use when we launch those drones. Launch, like down to 5,000 almost immediately, eh? Now what we may do is put these plasma cannons on ripple fire, so maybe let's do that. We could put the drones on ripple fire too, we could try it. Let's try it, let's see, let's see what that's like. Drones, okay, so it just keeps continually launching them. Look, and you know, we, do, we never run out of power and they're continually launching, I actually like that. And a lot of times when I'm using drones, like I'm, I will literally hold down the right mouse button, and uh, they just keep launching as I need them, right? And uh, plasmas, wow, look at that! Now it's not as accurate, I find, with the ripple fire. So I think we're gonna go back to the fire all with plasma cannons, um, but effectively, not including what what our shields are gonna do, we can almost keep firing continually without running out of energy no we're running out of energy so we we already have energy issues we're gonna have to fix that right away okay so let's go back to the drawing board we're just gonna add a couple things <laughs> energy uh okay so i left a couple spots open i will uh quickly take care of this so you guys don't have to sit here for very long no, we're not going to fast forward right this minute. We're just going to be really careful with those drone launches, and uh, we're just going to watch our power systems because, yeah, we're 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 out of whoops, Scaruba, Scaraba, <laughs> no Scarab. Uh, we are out of points. We are maxed out. So I'll just add a couple more defense cannons. Uh, you know, it's going to be really bad when we're when we are being attacked by a number of different uh, bad guys, and all of our defense cannons and stuff are going off too. Uh, <laughs> you, you know, like it's it's gonna. It's going to be pretty chaotic, and we're going to go through energy pretty quickly. So we do need to upgrade, and I think what we're going to do is we're just going to add a couple more back here and just move these main engines back a little bit further. So uh, for now, that's going to have to do. Whoops. Ah, what? Okay, so... Oh, right. Our controls. Okay, so we got to get used to using the other kind of control system. So the reason I chose this control system is because, uh, you know, now I, I, want, I will want to be strafing and driving in a different direction. Um, as long as I'm not using both my drones and my uh, plasma cannons at the same time, uh, we're fine. But look at that, just chew through it all. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to make a lot. Oh, one thing I didn't even think about. Oh, man. We, got, we have to add some cargo containers on here because... Uh, <laughs> We have no room to carry anything. Look at all that. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, hmm. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> okay, so what are we going to do here? I guess uh, we need to make some points. Oh, I know what we'll do. We'll go and we'll s go capture this station or whatever this is over here on the map. I to remember that my cursor doesn't determine where my direction anymore. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, that heavy armor is, look at, I'm, I'm able to ram things pretty nicely, actually, and not take an enormous amount of damage. Now, these guys are chewing off my drones pretty quickly. I'm not firing on purpose. I'm just curious to see how much damage, uh, I, I will take, you know, ramming and running through a place like this, and, I don't know, I'm still taking damage, but, you know, it's, it's all superficial, except for, you know, I'm losing my drones, but who cares, right? I mean, for in, in a situation like this, I wouldn't be using drones anyway, because drones are pretty useless against these types of guys. Uh, whereas plasma cannons, look at that, just it's just like butter. Just choose through them 
like nuts. Okay, so there's that. Let's sell off everything we have, and that should give us enough points. <laughs> oh, brilliant. I love it. Yeah, because we do not have a factory on the ship, we're able to sell our points, by the way. Haha. <laughs> so now, let's just finish off our build. Okay. So we need some pods, containers, and a couple more energy. Okay, guys, we're going to pause here, and then we're going to go to episode 17 tomorrow, which I'm already working on. It is actually just a continuation of where we are right now. I had no idea how long I had taken building this craft. I know it took a long time, but it's integral to conquering this galaxy. So stay tuned for part two.